Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming another storing photo cards into my binders. This is actually a lot faster than normally for me, but as you can see, I do have quite a lot of photo cards. And I also have quite a lot of inclusions because of the season's greetings. So let's just start right away because it's gonna be a while. So here's my first binder, which is my BTS and Taehyung binder, which I only have BTS today. I actually have quite a lot for me. I finally got BTS's Japanese album Math to Soul the Journey and I actually put Yoongi which normally I collect Tay but you know Yoongi is my other bias so obviously I'm gonna keep it so I don't have any space on my Japanese page so this is more like my other Tay photo cards so my Japanese photo cards and then BTS World so I might just put this on the back for now and then put Yoongi here just to save some space because I don't usually get a lot of Japanese photo cards for BTS. So I could put it here, but these are my special photo cards, which I actually pull quite a lot of Yoongi, which I'm so happy about. So then I obviously have the Polaroids that came with the season's greetings, which I purchased. I actually put in a page beforehand, I, I believe. Yeah, I did. So here we got the page for the Polaroids. Let me put them in. So after the last video, after the last photo card storing video, I actually decided to do it more like a collective photo card video. So every time I got a few photo cards in, I would film it. And then the next time I would film it again. So it wouldn't be filmed in one sitting. So then I have different clips and I can just combine them into one video. And I actually wanted to do that now. But I feel like because I just didn't have the time to film. And I actually traded and bought a lot recently in the last few weeks. I actually think this will be enough for one video, so I don't think I will do that now. But definitely next time, because I, as I said in my last video, I really don't like keeping photo cards into the boxes for too long. I just want to put them away. He looks so cute, Tay Tay. So yeah, let me know what you think, if you guys even like these kind of videos, because I do. I really like watching these kind of videos. This looks so cute, oh my god. So that's actually all for this binder because I don't have any Taeyeon and I don't have any other groups. So yeah, let me continue to my NCT binder. So here we got my next binder, which is mainly NCT, but also EXO and Super M. Like last time, the majority of the photo cards are for this binder because I have been trying to collect a lot of NCT photo cards, which is quite hard because Taeyeon, honestly, is awful to collect because his resonance photo cards are literally the worst to get right now. But yeah, I finally got Do Young's regular, regular, regular photo card, one of the versions, which is actually the black bag version, which I think is the irregular version. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let me put it here. So now I only have one of Te Taeyong, one of Do Young's older photo cards to collect. His other regular, regular photo card, and then I have all of his 1 to 7 photo cards completed. Oh, I actually changed it up. I now only have the 1 to 7 photo cards here because I combined my resonance photo cards, which you will see in a while. But first, we have Tense Awaken the World Chinese Press photo card. Is, I'm not sure what it's called anymore, but it's his Chinese Press special photo card. Which was actually, I found it for really cheap, which Obviously, these photo cards don't go as expensive as normal photo cards, but still, I found it for a really good price. Which I'm so happy about because I finally have some photo cards of them because I obviously don't have my Super Emma Resonance photo cards here. So then we can go to Resonance so I can show you guys how I sorted it. So I actually combined it with NCT 2018. So I have 2018 and 2020 NCT photo cards on a three spread, so like Taeyong, Ten, and Doyoung, which I always like, but I, for one to seven, I only collect two members, so I didn't like how it looked. So yeah, obviously for Empathy, I did also collect Jeno, but I kept his on his own page because for 2020, I decided to only collect three members, which I'm so happy about because honestly, I can't find any Taeyong photo cards for a decent price. But I did find a Ten photo card, which is his future photo card for part one. I actually have pretty much all of Ten's photo cards now, and I only have this one Taeyong photo card and literally one or two Doyoungs because Ten and Doyoung, uh, Taeyong and Doyoung are literally expensive, so expensive. Then it's actually quite easy because I do have this photo card. I think I have this one, this one, 
this one and this one. I believe I pretty much have all of them, which I'm so happy about. And now onto Taehyung's special page, which has been quite a lot of time since I've put anything here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I finally have Taehyung's ID set, like his 127 Beyond the Origin photo card. And also his ID. I'm so excited. I actually found it for quite a decent price for Taehyung. Obviously, it was still expensive. There are actually people outside, so I don't know if you hear them. But this is one of my favorite Taehyung photo cards ever. And I didn't buy the set when uh, the Beyond Live concert happened earlier last year. So I did pre-order the NCT 2020 Resonance set because I didn't want to pay as much as I did for this one. So I just ordered it when it came out. But yeah, this is literally my favorite photo. It's so cute. So I'm so happy to finally am working on my special page. There's actually a few coming in soon because for some reason it's easier now to get special photo cards and album photo cards. Don't ask me why, it's just the truth. So then we can go to an empty space, empty space, empty place I put in somewhere. I don't know where I do. I believe I wanted to put it here. No, I didn't. Oh wait, before that, I did get Taehyung and Tan's pre-order photo cards from K-Time for you for the season's greetings. So let me put those on the same pages. So let me put Taehyung here. So I actually did get a full pre-order set, but not from K-Time for you. And I actually decided to get NCT 127's season's greetings after I got my BTS season's greetings. So I actually did end up getting that. So here we got Taehyung and then special page so I ordered from a Dutch k-pop side and they actually gave me a full set of pre-order gifts that I'm not sure where it comes from I didn't ask them but as you can see I do have a full set but as you can also see it's different from the k-town for you one because look it's the same picture but it's cropped differently which pre-order gifts are always the same picture for some reason only the Aladdin one and I really wanted to get the Aladdin one. It's a Korean site, so I didn't know how to pre-order that. And also, I can't find any sales on Instagram for some reason. Because every time I see Taehyung, it's already sold. But I did think I put in a full page for this already. But I guess not. You know what? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. I put it before the circle cards. Okay, so here I'm gonna put my first ever OT9 set. Oh my god. I mean, obviously I would want to collect all members for Resonance, but like I said, I can't even get Taehyung. And I mean, Jaehyung would also be such a nightmare. So I don't know what these are from, but I saw someone talking about a pre-order set that was really flimsy, which this is really flimsy. And it's also kind of like plastic. And she also said it was kind of like plastic. So I feel like it's that same pre-order set, which is from an SM store. I'm not sure. I saw it somewhere and I did find a full template of 1 to 7 pre order gifts, which are literally 18 or something. 18 pre order sets for the season's greeting. So, yeah, I'm not collecting any. I only wanted to get the K Town for you and preferably the Aladdin one, but I couldn't find it. I actually love that Doyoung is in the middle if I have a full spread because he is my second bias in 1 to 7. Literally, I would want to collect... 1 to 7 is probably my... I like all of NCT, but NCT 127 was the first unit I started listening to. So they always have a special place in my heart. So I would like to collect OT9, but you know, this is something. Now I have one OT9 set, even though it's not even official. <laughs> but oh well. So here we have... A full OT9 set, a spree, the pre-order gifts. I'm actually quite annoyed that his one is, Johnny's one is quite different, but oh well. Uh, so then I have Super M photo cards. I'm actually really mad because I did get scammed again. Actually, the one beforehand, she actually put out a story on the Instagram that said, I'm gonna stop collecting because people were really mean to her and I feel really bad. But I did buy three photo cards, three one of photo cards from her and she didn't respond anymore. The only thing she said in the story was, I sent everything out, they should come in, but I'm gonna stop collecting. So I really hope she sent it out and I will get my three one of photo cards. But I did get scammed again with kind of an expensive Super M photo card, which I'm really sad about. So first we got Taehyung's US Super One photo card. I'm actually, I was complete pretty much. And then I got scammed for Baekhyun's US one, which is 
for some reason quite expensive the like the turtle one that he has his turtle outfit which i'm so sad about then i have tan's asian version photo card and then i have taehyung's asian version photo card oh my god taehyung's photo cards for super m are actually quite affordable which i think it's because ot20 ot23 Western is for the cards, there's such a small chance you get your bias. So I feel like that's the reason why they're literally too expensive. So here we have Baekhyun's Asia version. So as you can see, I marked this off because I did trade for it. I traded one of Malukas's first album photo cards for it. But then I got scanned because her whole Instagram, she deleted everything. She first deleted all my messages, which included her address and her first message and her proof message. And then she deleted her account. Gladly, I did have her address, so I put in a story on my Instagram to warn people about her, obviously covering parts of her address. But yeah, I did have this, but not anymore. And it's one of the most expensive Super One photo cards, so yeah. So then I have Kai and Tan's American version unit, which I called Unit B because Tan is my second bias in Super M. And then I have the other unit, I am collecting all three because all of my three biases, because Baekhyun is my third bias, are in different units, so yeah. This is so satisfying. I, it would have been so satisfying to finish this page, but oh well. So then I have Kai and Tan's Asia version photo card. It looks like there's someone here, there's Mark here, they just cut him off. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the B version. The only unit I haven't been able to find is Taeyong and Taemin's asia version photo card so if you have it let me know i really want to buy it or trade for it so here i have the other unit i actually prefer the asia version because it's so pretty with like the plants in the back i do have taeyong's green id on the way hopefully and then i only have to get this blue version so yeah let's go to exo because i do have one backyard photo card i told myself i would stop collecting um, back in full and just get whatever I want and then I found this one I did decide to get only one version of the album that's why I never got this photo card before because I already have this version of the album but yeah I only decided to get one version only for now so I did buy this one because I love these photo cards from City Lights from the day version actually the other day version is literally my favorite but I'm not too sure if I will get it so this is his solo page and don't have any delight ones yet so hopefully soon and then i have two pulls i pulled mark twice in my asia version albums so yeah let me just put it here i did put them in black sleeves because i decided to not waste any white sleeves on for the cards i'm gonna trade so yeah that's why because my white sleeves ran out but i finally stocked up on nine pocket pages and white white sleeves so yeah, let's go into my last photo card binder before we go into bigger inclusions. So here we have my last photo card binder, which is Monster X, Wolno, Stray Kids, and Ace, which actually, update, I've started collecting Ace. So yeah, <laughs> so let me get my photo cards, which are not a lot. Last time there was literally only Wolno photo cards, but this time I got quite a stack, but not all um, Monster X this time. So I only have one Wolno photo card, which is quite sad because I hope Literally, a lot of mail has gotten lost in November because some have, haven't come in from November from the US and two of them are well known for the cards. I'm so sad, but oh well. So I think this is version Pinkis. Yeah, because this is the same outfit. So let me put it here. It's actually coming together quite well. So the only one I haven't found is, is this one, the other one with the glasses. So this one, I don't know, this one is the one that's lost. And these three are the ones I bought from that girl that hasn't responded. So I am gonna message her again to ask if she's okay, because she was a subscriber actually. And to ask if she has, has sent it out, because I really hope she has. These two are also the ones that got lost. So this one got lost and the two pre-order ones also got lost because they sen were sent out in the first week of November, so I'm not sure. So this is the, well, everything is exciting, but this is one of the most exciting things because I've been working on it so hard. I only have two 
we will now monster x photo cards left obviously there's not gonna be any more so then i'm complete so i haven't found those which is quite annoying and i only have two units left so four in total and then i'm done with my monster x collection my monster x will now collection because i finally have will now and shonu's unit from the, the connect his third unit so i'm so happy to complete this page oh my god this is my favorite collection because the photo cards are so beautiful because of their size so then i have wano and hyungwan's unit also from the connect and then i also have wano's unit with juan on the way and then i only need this one and this one and then i'm complete with my unit collection which is quite bizarre because it's a lot but i'm so excited and then i also finally got kian's last photo card for fantasy x like i said last time i wasn't really searching for it but then i literally found it so i also already reorganized it so now i have i love that it's nine but now i have a full page of kian for the cards which i'm now stopping collecting kian because i'm thinking about collecting shonu for their new album but i only just recently bought it and my album will probably arrive on monday so let me see my pools and then decide what i'm gonna do so I actually got this as a freebie, but I think it's actually the official group, but it's quite damaged here. Yeah? But I still thought it would be nice to just put it here. Maybe I can put this one here, because I did move Kion here because I didn't know what to do with him. So now it's just in between two of them, which I think is okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another group on because they don't do groups anymore and I'm not collecting, but it would look nice. So then let's go to Stray Kids. Because I have one photo card for Stray Kids finally. And it's his final Levanta photo card. Oh my god, yes. I finally have, it's my least favorite actually, because I do prefer selfies, but I have his uh, making photo card for Levanta. So now, as you can see, I have his full Levanta set complete. Which Hyunjin is probably my slowest collection because he is quite expensive once again. So now something I have decided, which is I didn't want to collect June from Ace because Ace was quite expensive because they're quite underrated. So not a lot of people were trading, uh, especially the out of print photo cards are actually like expensive. But I did decide to collect his full set for his latest album, which is actually a nine, literally a set of nine. So I did complete it like fully i think i have two more that i need but i i have messaged someone and if i get those two i'm actually complete because they're quite ex uh, not inexpensive wow that was hard to say they're really inexpensive so i'm really happy about it so first off i have his cute one in the white in white english is hard okay so red hairband dark hair purple i think it's probably white shirt <laughs> Yeah, I named it for myself so I could know where to put it and then I d don't even know. So this one is probably purple letters because he has purple letters. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't even really matter because I have all of them and I haven't even marked them off. So now I finally have three of the nine. So this is a collection I'm actually really excited about because it isn't that hard. Hard collections are actually really, I don't know, I don't like it. So I do have Chen's because I put Chen in my album, but I did buy June's from a seller in my country for literally three euros. So I'm just gonna combine it for now because otherwise I have to start a whole page for just this. It actually looks cute in one sleeve. So yeah. So that was it for photo cards. So let's now go on to my bigger collection. My wow. So now let's go into my bigger inclusions. Binos, why is my mind like this? Oh my god. So first off, we have my, and I'm not sure because it's organized differently, BTS and Stray Kids? No, BTS and Taeyeon. So let me get my inclusions for this binder. So yeah, this is literally only basically season quitting stuff. And I'm not gonna put everything in, but I'm quite excited because last time I didn't have a lot of bigger inclusions. And I actually reorganized everything because now I have three pocket sleeves and such. So let's go to the back because I already prepared for everything. So first off, I decided to put in this postcard because it's an OT7 postcard. And I actually decided to put it in this two pocket page, which it kind of sticks out but because it's the bottom, I'm okay with it. 
Normally I don't I really hate it. But then I decided to put um, the sticker sheet in. The cute OT7 sticker sheet. And I actually wanted to put it on the back. If it fits. Please fit. Okay, I don't think it fits. <laughs> so let me put it on the top. What did I want to do with this? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, so I did prepare a lot and now I don't know. So maybe I decided to put it on the back. So let's put it here. Mm, I don't know if I like it. Oh, obviously not there because it's double-sided. Let's put it here. This is a mess already. I'm so sorry. Okay, so that's okay. Because I did want to put in... Because these are also pictures. I did want to put in my pool, which is Yoongi. I did pull Yoongi's actual photo. So I'm really excited. I never have any luck. I'm just gonna put it here, you know? Because I want these to be side to side. And these are also actually pictures, like real pictures. So it would fill out this space perfectly. So then I've also made a change that I haven't really showed you guys. Oh, maybe I wanted to, wait. So maybe I wanted to put this one here and then this one in a bigger sleeve. Maybe that's what I wanted. To... I think that's what I intended to do. So let me put this one here. <laughs> yeah, it fits perfectly. Great. <laughs> so then I actually decided to put bigger inclusions for my two biases, which are Tae and Yoongi, in the back. So I have his summer package stuff. Then season screenings for 2019 because it only included three group photos. So I decided to put two of them in to have something from the season screenings. Then the winter package, I believe. Yeah. And then I have his season screenings for 2020. So the unit because they were together in one unit and then Tay and Yoongi. So then I decided to do the same for these like LP final thingies. So I'm gonna put them back to back in an A4 sleeve. I don't know. I felt like I needed to showcase the inclusions a bit more. So I decided to just put my two biases in here just to do that. And then I have these ID cards which I wanted to combine with the previous two years. So actually it's gonna be quite a hassle because I have to reorganize everything, but then we can talk about stuff. <laughs> so I actually, I talked about this in my last video, but I actually ordered a ring light because it's winter and it's really annoying. The reason I am only filming this now after I received so much is because literally I haven't had the time because when I'm editing other videos, it literally takes a few, literally hours. And I post quite a lot on my main channel, on this channel, like non-personal videos. And then I just don't have any time to film because it's already dark at four. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. So yeah. So I don't have any time to film ever because it's already dark when I finished editing. So I really can't, I really want to film like after dinner. I just can't. So now I ordered a ring light, which actually also came with an actual tripod because I'm literally so trash, but I don't have an actual tripod. I actually connected a mini phone tripod to a selfie stick. And that's literally how I film. So, <laughs> so professional. So now I actually have a tripod that goes up to 180 centimeters. So now I can actually just film without this trashy tripod that I have. But you know, nothing wrong with that. It's just I wanted to upgrade my stuff, you know? Because I do appreciate everyone watching. This actually looks a lot better than it looked before because they actually stay a lot better. And then next year I have a four, four, I have a four, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have four in one sleeve, so it will actually look even better because Yoongi is literally moving the bottom one but oh well but yeah i actually literally ordered the ring light yesterday night because i couldn't sleep and i was up all night because i drank coffee which is my own fault obviously but yeah i couldn't sleep so then i started scrolling on my phone and i decided to buy it oh well i think it's a good decision to buy a ring light and a tripod that's what i did last night and then I'm just gonna plug it because my friend always plugs me and I never do because I just forget. But if you guys like my videos and like K-pop related things, go check out my friend Renee. It's always funny because when you talk English, 
You always pronounce names differently, but it's actually Rene. <laughs> Not Rene, but Rene. <laughs> so check out Rene. The channel, I will link it down below, and maybe also in the card, I always forget. But yeah, check her out, she's amazing, and she's about to hit 100 subscribers, and I really want to help her get there. It's actually going quite fast, fast, which I'm happy about, and this looks so good. I'm so happy to get next year, so I can have four in one sleeve. Because normally, IDs don't really look good in sleeves, as you saw with Ace. So then I really want to get put this one in because it's so cute compared to the last two. Okay, sorry for the weird cut. You won't even believe how stressed I am right now because the same happened in my BTS season screenings unboxing. But literally my phone crashed and it didn't save and it took a whole minute to save. Because I went to my gallery and it wasn't there and I was literally about to stop everything. But it saved. So thankfully, oh my god. I don't want it to happen again, but it probably will. But yeah, that's it for my BTS binder. So let's now go on to my NCT binder. So here we have my NCT and Super M binder. Maybe EXO, I'm not sure. So I do have a few things. Okay, never mind. Pretty much everything except four little things are Super M and NCT because obviously I also got NCT season screenings and I totally forgot. I only have super m album inclusion so let's go to that first yeah here we go so let me take this out because i did finally trade for tens postcard and then i got Beckyon's postcard sorry i forgot to show you guys and then i still have two of the same group one so let me just put it back to back here because i do want to get Taeyong's. Yeah, I'm so happy I actually got two of my three biases. And then I actually have one of Taeyong's Super M standees, which are quite, kind of hard to find because I feel like they're out of print. But I did get only the standee and not the lovely photo card, but oh well. I saw some people actually putting it, putting it in like this, but because it fits perfectly without it, I'm just gonna put it in like that. So here we go. Yeah, let's just put it on the back. <laughs> I actually have been having a really hard time finding the standee and photo card sets for quite a while now. But now I've found an amazing group order per person. Oh god. A person on Instagram that does amazing group orders. Like she is so organized and I love it. So now I have ordered actually Taeyong's Resonance Part 1 and Part 2 standee and photo card sets because they always get sold out and I have such an, a, a horrible experience lately with import costs from stuff from Korea. So I stopped buying things from Korea, from K-Sites, but now I can actually have his standee sets through that amazing group order person. Group order manager. Group order manager. Oh my god. So now we go on to the amazing 1 to 7 set from Beyond the Origin. Which obviously also got this with. So I did have a plan. So the person that I order, ordered with is actually from my country. And she had his Super M set from Beyond Life. And his 1 to 7 set. And she actually messed up and put his 1 to 7 things in the Super M package and the other way around. So normally I would be kind of suspicious, but she actually sold both of them. She just put them back in the wrong way and I didn't want to say it because I was really thankful. As I said, this set was super inexpensive for what it is because it's get, it gets sold for so much. And I love this photo shoot so much. So I decided to put this one here. I actually pre-planned everything this time, which is not my style normally. But I totally forgot where to put this. <laughs> Let me put it aside for now and look at all the other stuff. Because I did have a plan for the season screening stuff. Because this is season screenings from last year. I actually didn't get the season screenings last year. Oh wait, yeah, of course. I wanted to put it here. Because I thought it would look best. She actually gave me the Super 1 version. Like I said, she messed up. But oh well. So this would fit great in three pockets so i'm just gonna put it there it doesn't look good but i didn't know what else to do with it so then we have the season's quitting stuff which i decided because i only bought taeyong set last year i didn't get the whole season's quittings so i decided to put in these are the calendar postcards and i actually decided to put in the group and my two biases for the calendars also here so i put in the two pockets 
So I'm first going to start with Dote, Doyoung and Taehyung because they're my two biases in 1 to 7 and they're actually my, in my top three biases in the whole of NCT because obviously my second bias has always been 10 but Doyoung is really my other bias, I have three biases. So yeah, it looks really good and they actually come with three of these but the third one actually looks quite similar to this one. So I just chose one of them. I'm not even sure if it was my favorite. I don't know. I just had to choose one. And they looked so similar that I really didn't know what to do. Oh God, my desk calendar is in the way. My desk calendar is literally there. <laughs> my NCT 127 one. So they're actually so much nicer than last year because they're quite small and these ones fit perfectly, like almost too big. And then I decided to put in the full like, you know that folder, that police folder thingy? There was also A4s in there, like A4 inspection things, I don't know. But I didn't want to put it in because it was literally paper. And also the, the real A4s, like this one. This one is from last year, but as you can see, it literally sticks out on top. But obviously I ordered this one in a set and I don't have anywhere to put it other than in my binder, so I did put it in, but I feel like the actual A4s that come with this one, this year's one, would be safer in the box, in the in the season screenings box. But yeah, let me just organize it, because obviously they kind of separated them by inspectors and like police agents. So I have to organize it, because first of obviously Taeyong and Teo, Johnny. Honey, does it look good? I really want to have it by age, but obviously this is so different from this one. Well, I just gonna do it. Yuta, where's Doyoung? Hmm, Doyoung, Jayoung. Okay, so let me just try this for now and see if I like it. Obviously, it fits. <laughs> it's just not, I don't know. It's too, it's too small, basically. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Oh, it fits. It fits, oh God, just just about <laughs> it was almost too thick but like it's not as high oh god my english today is really not what it used to be <laughs> oh my god you won't even believe what happened if i told you but i literally crashed again but it didn't save this time so i was done with bts and now i i'm pretty much done with nct actually but it didn't film anything so that sucks so let me put my last two and Steve things in. Here we go, Jungwoo, Hechan. This is scary to put in. It's so, oh, this one's actually simple to get in. That's weird, okay. Yeah, and that's it. So let's now continue to my last binder. I'm really sad I didn't get any footage from putting away my NCT stuff. So here we got my very, very last binder, which is basically one now Monster X and everyone else. <laughs> so I only have two things to put away for Wana, which are his other two postcards. I finally got them. So these are actually my three favorite postcards. So I really wanted to put the other two on the back. I thought it would look nicer than start a new page. So we got all five postcards finally completed, which I'm so excited about. I really want to get one more, but I really don't like these ones. Not too sure. But I did decide to put away my Ace Standy from their very first album, which is out of print now, like the first full album. And I just obviously got A's, I think behind Monster X. No, behind Stray Kids. Here we got Stray Kids, and here we got A's, which I decided to put it here. I don't know, I only have one page for A's. It's kind of folded still, because it has been on my album shelves for a long, long, long time. But I hope it will eventually go down, you know? Go down is not the right word, but you know, be flat again. <laughs> because I didn't want to get ruined because it's quite rare. And I just wanted it in my binder. And same thing goes for this Taemin standee. I usually don't put standees on, on shelves, only when I have multiple of them. But for some reason I did with these two. It was before I really started collecting. So I decided to put Taemin in here. And that's actually all. <laughs> so I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.